Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com. This is my good friend Eric, Chef Eric Gephardt with Kamado Joe. We've been through some culinary adventures together and this guy's been cooking around the world, so he's got a lot of knowledge to share. So with that in mind, what are we cooking today, Chef? Today we're gonna break down a side of salmon and we're gonna do a ponzu sear salmon. I love it. Here we go. So I'm a big fan of salmon and a huge fan of sustainability. Uh, there's never been a more important time in our history to get nutritious food into our diet. So this omega-3 fatty acid high salmon is gonna be fantastic and it's a great fish to cook off the grill. I implore you, put seafood into your diet two, three times a week. Uh, again, delicious and nutritious. But before we break this salmon down, let's go ahead and get this Kamada Joe started. Today we're gonna to be using the Kamada Joe Classic 3, one of my favorite ceramic grills. Uh, the first thing we need to do is get this baby full of charcoal and lit. We're aiming for a temperature of about 550 degrees for that big bolt sear. Now that's more charcoal than we need for a quick cook, but because I want a blistering sear, I'm gonna bank all this charcoal to one side of the grill to ensure that we've got proper airflow. Uh, and that's gonna help us light the grill. It's also gonna help us come to a higher temperature much quicker. So just light the corner of your fire starter and then we're gonna build a little cave right here in the bottom. Whenever I'm doing a big, bold, blistering sear, whether it's scallops, tuna, or salmon, I love the soapstone. You put this baby under a microscope and it's completely non-porous, so 100% connectivity, and it soaks up that energy so well. So we'll just set it here, let it come to temperature with our grill, and within 10 minutes, we should be at that 550 degree mark. So we've got this stunning side of Quarry Arctic Salmon with us today, and I wanna do a little Salmon 101 with you and break down the different portions of a side of salmon. Let's take a closer look. There are five separate cuts in this beautiful side of salmon. Let's start towards the tail and work our way up. Uh, first and foremost, we have the tail piece, okay? This is the toughest part of the salmon because of the nature of the way it swims. It is great for minced and ground preparations. Next, one of my favorite cuts is known as the second cut, okay? This is fantastic for uh, sandwich pieces or direct grilling or poaching, uh, a really wonderful piece to take on marinades. Next, the belly, one of the most noticeable uh, and recognized pieces this is like salmon butter. When you put this on a grill and render it out, that fat just comes out. This is the highest concentration of omega-3 fatty acids on the fish, which I think in nature is why you see wolves and bears going straight towards it. Nature knows best. Now we're left with this big portion here, the last two pieces. Remember this belly was right here. So you've got the center loin right here which is great. You see this in a lot, let me cut that again. You see that in a lot of uh, sashimi preparations, okay? This is a really nice uh, piece to serve rare or raw and just slice. It's just really meatier than the belly, but still extremely tender. And then you have the tenderloin of the entire filet known as the top loin, which is what we're gonna be using in today's recipe. Uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful piece of fish, takes on marinades and smoke really well. So I think today during our sear, we'll throw in a little wood chunk and get a smoke sear on this before we hit it with our delicious ponzu. But again, five distinctive cuts, one better than the other for a certain cooking technique. Again, today we're working with the tenderloin of the salmon or the top loin, uh, but wonderful choices for different applications. While we're waiting for the soapstone to come to temperature, let's go ahead and make a very quick modified ponzu sauce. Ponzu sauce, pretty much a citrus soy sauce. Uh, so we're gonna start with a little bit of tamari, or you can use soy sauce, mirin, sesame oil, orange, lime, a bit of serrano for heat, and then just a little splash of water to cut that salinity of that tamari or soy sauce. Tamari or soy sauce, half a cup. Water, one tablespoon. Mirin, sweeten things up a little bit, one tablespoon. Sesame oil, super powerful, so just three little drops here. Next, let's go ahead and go in with our citrus. And always use fresh citrus. Don't go to the store and buy orange juice. Looking for about a quarter of a cup of orange juice here. Two tablespoons of lime juice. 
And last but not least, a little fresh Serrano for heat. And that's our modified ponzu. Our top loin of quarry arctic salmon still has the skin on it. So for this preparation, I wanna take that off and let me show you how to do that. You can just kind of get the corner right there and then use a knife and just slightly go underneath. And I'm moving back and forth while pulling that skin ever so slightly and you just glide right over it just like that. And there's a lot of nutrients in here. We could soak this in a little soy sauce and make salmon skin chips if we wanted to. Uh, but for today's preparation, we're just gonna focus on that top loin. We've chosen a pineapple head by Dizzy Pig. Uh, the sweetness of this is really gonna help in that quick caramelization. So let's go ahead and season the fish. And just kind of roll it around with whatever's left on the cutting board. Oh man, this is stunning. Soapstones to temperature. We've got a roaring fire underneath. Now I'm gonna put the wood chunk in the hottest part of the flame. So this is gonna be our secret seasoning. Once that combusts and we'll have that really nice blue smoke going, look, there it is. The edges are starting right now. Let's go ahead and get a little olive oil on our soapstone. And now for that gorgeous fish. Uh, if you're not sure if it's gonna stick or not, this goes for any fish on any grill surface, you can do the draw test. We're just gonna take it and draw it right across. Notice it's not sticking at all, it's not leaving behind any protein residue, so we are good to drop. I've just placed that on the soapstone. Look at the nice combustion we've got going on with our wood chunk. I'm gonna shut the dome just to allow all that smoke to bathe the outside of this fish. Oh yeah. Look at that gorgeous caramelization. And now I'm gonna finish this cook lid up. We've got enough smoke adherent on that one uh, initial side cook. We don't wanna cook this too much or it's gonna be hard to slice it into slices. I'm gonna keep this nice and rare. Five, four, three, two, and done. Loving the caramelization from the soapstone. Uh, I'm getting the aroma of that hickory. So just wonderful stuff. Let's get our presentation plate here. And I know we talked about slicing it, but I kind of, I'm thinking chunks now, just because when I was moving it, it just looks like it wants to fall apart and give us that nice meaty look. So let's just, oh yeah. I'm just gonna place these kind of randomly on this plate and go for that rustic style plate up. Take a little bit of our ponzu. Not much, we don't want a pool of ponzu down there. We just want enough to coat. Just a bit of serrano right on top. Let's finish with a little seaweed wakame salad. So this is not at all the presentation I had in mind when we began. I had slices in mind and a circle, but I love the rustic aspect of this dish, the dark caramelization of the sear, that salmon, and the green wakame salad. Fantastic. Let's give it a bite. Let's get Chef Tom out here to give a bite too. Here, buddy. Yeah. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. That's good. That's so good. Umami for days. Uh huh. I like that touch of sweetness from that rub in there too. I'm picking up the pineapple a little bit. It goes really well with those serranos. The serranos is just the right amount of heat. And then I'm glad you made me go get you some seaweed some salad. Some salad. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff is good on there. This is super easy to do. You saw how long it took on the grill. Not long at all. And you could do that with any cut on the salmon. I just really like that top one. Ponzu is a good choice for this too. Well, thanks so much to Chef Eric. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.